One thing you don't see in Chatham that you see in many parts of the south side are the storefront churches. Uh, we have our share of storefront churches. So you do? Yeah, on Sunday nights, we will fo we'll see a few of them. Uh, this is Brown Park. Uh, and, and we're just two blocks from Cole Park. We're at two blocks from Cole Park. This park was, uh, this park was built uh, and, uh, and, and it was named in honor of uh, Sidney Brown. Uh, Sidney Brown was the first African-American firefighter to die in the line of duty. And uh, his family, uh, the, after he passed away, the community got together and asked that Spark be named after him. And every year his br brother and a number of firefighters come into this park and they have an annual picnic in his honor. And they open it up and they let the kids come out, they bring the trucks out, and the kids get to really see the, the trucks, get on the truck, talk to firefighters. And, you know, so the firefighters really do a lot in this community. Uh, there's a lot, there's a discussion as to uh, build a memorial uh, in honor of uh, all our uh, service heroes as well as well, uh, Mr. Brown, Thomas Wortham, and uh, Michael Bailey, and uh, Corey Yankum, uh, and firefighters and police officers who passed away. We have a neighborhood school, a period there's school. John T. Period School. This is one of our pride and joy. It's one of our schools that performing well. The kids are performing at one at the, the, the top quarter of all the public schools in the city of Chicago. So we're very right. proud of Peary School. That's, that's a neighborhood school? Or right, it's a neighborhood school. It's not a magnet school. So if you had to pick the best uh, neighborhood school in Chatham, would, what would you pick? Uh, the best neighborhood school in Chatham would probably be uh, Dixon. Uh, but right now you can't get into Dixon <laughs> because it's filthy, uh, we have a crowding problem. Everybody wants to get to Dixon. Right here is up from our senior housing. Uh, this was built. Uh, co-op. Yeah, this is a co-op, but it's it's place for seniors. It, they have a they have to be 55 and older to move in here. And uh, this was built at the cooperation with the Chicago uh, Public Schools and Chicago Park District, who gave up this land to build this uh, build this. So our senior city are involved. In, live here, and so they get together, come by and interact with the kids, and uh, come out to the park. So. We're expecting Brown Park is uh, slated to have a major upgrade in the next couple of years. So uh, we're hoping that everybody can get involved in this and uh, bring something for everybody in this park. So let me let me double back to the school question. If uh, if you move into the Dixon neighborhood boundaries, you, you can't get into the school right now? Right now you can't get into the school. The, they're, they're, they're looking at where all the openings are. And some of you know, kind of, the kids are kind of in a lottery right now. So you might have to go to Burn, the school in the, the district, which would be uh, Deneen, uh, Burnside, uh, Peary, uh, Dixon, and there's about three other schools we have available the kids can go to. What about uh, private schools? Uh, we have private schools. We do have, uh, uh, we do, we, we have, we, we have St. Dorothy, which is uh, one of the oldest private schools. Uh, at Catholic schools around, uh, many well, people. Which way do you want to go? Uh, we're gonna go out this way. Uh, St. Dorothy, which is a great school, and we're very proud of St. Dorothy. Uh, if you talk to people who lived in this community 75 years ago, and they I meet people like that, they say, and the first question, hey, St. Dorothy's still there. <laughs> uh, you know, they know and they ask me, and up until recently, uh, a lot of the same administrations were still, they say, Sister Lou, they yeah, 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 But, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, the, uh, everybody got gotten older and they've got some new administration, but it's still going great. Uh, this was a situation, uh, this what we're looking right here, uh, which is another unique uh, thing about Chatham. Uh, this is uh, another co-op, isn't right, it? Right, this is the Chatham Park Cooperative. And which, what, what, well, a story most people don't know about the Chatham Park Cooperative. Uh, this particular land uh, once was owned by the Nation of Islam, and through some issues with the government, the government foreclosed on this property. Uh, the, the city is given back to the government had pro, uh, plans to build public housing on here. Uh, many of the residents did not want public housing, and a group of residents got together, including. Uh, former Chief uh, Justice uh, William Cousins uh, got together and they, uh, with a couple of, with a developer, and decided to build the Chatham Park Cooperatives. And uh, they're still going on today. So the cooperatives, uh, a couple of 
approximately a couple hundred housing. Uh, they have a couple of com buildings involved in this complex, which are condoed. So, uh, and then still at the Fordo end is one. So, of some of the buildings have gone condo. Yeah, some of the buildings have gone condo. They paid off their mortgage, uh, so they were mortgage free. And uh, so there's one, and this is another four. Uh, drive up ahead, Worley, because I got to tell you, the last time I was down here, I believe this courtyard in here, up over to the right, was uh, pretty dilapidated. But they, it they, looks like it's been. But they've done some major upgrades. I know oh, they've yeah, got some major, 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 major upgrades. Right. They uh, they're having they they they've got some issues uh, because of just the economy. Uh, but so it's looking looking more like Chatham now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're going to do. They're looking at, you know, do they really want to uh, have the city come in and take over the city streets? We're at Eighty Third Street, and just look at that tree canopy up ahead. It's a, uh, it's a tree cathedral. Oh yeah. That's the kind of block that people uh, kill to get on on the north side. Oh yeah. And this is this kind of the point of. Uh, come to the point of almost when neighbors have this major disagreement. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, we've got some great streets, but uh, the trees sometimes block the, the lights and everybody wants their shade. And sometimes we need, we need to make those, uh, uh, have these trees trimmed back. And that will cause neighbors to, to you know, not like each other. <laughs> it looks like you had some storm damage this morning, too. Yeah, some of the trees are down, and so they don't need to get that up. No, it's uh, there was a lot of damage this morning from the storm. So, and then here on our corner lots, you, you can see we have larger homes on our corner lot, corner lots in this section. Now this is uh, this section here is a mix of homes as well as a uh, mix of of buildings. Now it looks like we have larger homes in here right, too. Yeah, some larger homes over in, the, in in this area. Do do some of these areas have distinct uh, neighborhood names? Are they? Uh, uh, no, not not this area right here. Not this, this is all area. still called Chatham. So we got bungalows, Georgians, raised ranches, uh, a real mixture. Looks like you have one board up there. Yeah, we, we have some board up, you know, still in it. But uh, talking to the real estate agents, uh, the, the resale of our foreclosures has been until it's pretty healthy compared to. Any, some other communities. Are there uh, blockbusters, sharks uh, in the real estate business down here as there used to be in the past? Uh, we've had our share of investors, but uh, with the market now, our investors are, uh, you know, they, 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 the investors have kind of walked away. Uh, this is a new off our Alderman's office. New and office. it looks like we've got a boutique here. Right, we have a new boutique. This boutique just opened up uh, over the last uh, over the last month. Uh, so this building Wallace. here looks high style. Yeah. So this building, this building here was uh, we just recently purchased, and uh, we're redoing the storefronts on this building. The city uh, putting money into facade improvements down here. Do you know? Uh, yeah, the city. Uh, you know our. The Chatham Business Association works along with the city, work with business owners uh, to, uh, you know, people who need to have sides and sidewalks and 